do cricket players need to barbell squat? In this video, I'm going to delve into why it could be vital for cricket players to squat, why we may not want to use the barbell squat in our program, and are you going to get injured if you squat? So what is so good about the squat? The squat is undoubtedly one of the best exercises out there. It's going to train your quads really well when you're squatting in a high bar position. As well as that, it's going to develop your adductors, your hamstrings, and your glutes. So it's going to be a great bang for your buck exercise. The squat is a powerful movement and requires a great deal of balance and skill to execute. Therefore, if someone is a good squatter, they're going to transfer that lower body power to the real world and into sport-specific circumstances like cricket. There's a degree of freedom with squatting movements which won't constrict you, which you might find with machines, like if you're too tall for it or too fat, whatever. But there's certain things you might need to do to a squat to modify it to get the most out of it. But we'll go into more of that later on. If you really know what you're doing with a the squat, there's variations you can create with the same exercise by just changing your, your stance width, the bar position and the type of resistance you have. So why might you not want to use the squat? If you ask 99% of people what is the best exercise that you should be doing to get lower body strength, the answer is going to be the squat. But what does that look like? Is that a front squat, a back squat, circus squat or even a goblet squat? Well the answer is completely dependent on the individual and that's where the squat starts to become a bit more complex. The squat is a very technical exercise and can take time to learn and then even longer to master. If you are a young player just starting out on your journey, I would advise starting to squat now because it's going to benefit you so much in the future. One of the benefits that we mentioned earlier are the large muscle groups that the squat develops along with the quads. But this comes at a cost and that cost is the amount of fatigue that you're going to get from the squat. It's going to beat you up depending on how mobile you are. The squat may not actually be developing your quads and this is also dependent on your body type whether you have long femurs or long torso. This may need an experienced trainer to point you in the right direction of how you can change up your squat technique to improve the stimulus of the exercise and obviously not everyone has this to hand. I could go into all the different sort of techniques and stuff you can use to change up your squat, but that could be a whole nother video. But what are the other options we could consider here instead of using the squat? You could use a leg extension machine, which is great for specifically working your quads, but you're not going to get those developments of your hamstrings, your adductors and glutes. But it's a great tool for muscle growth if you specifically want that in the quads. Personally, I think your best option is going to be using a hack squat machine. But you know, this might not be available to everyone out there. The hack squat allows you to get into a really deep squat and create a great stretch in your quads. Everything that we look for in muscle growth and strength development. As well as that, you're still going to get a bit of hamstring and glute development. Does the barbell squat pose more of a chance of injury compared to a machine-based lower body exercise? Well, that is down to the freedom of movement you get in a squat. It allows for more movement than rather than being stuck in a machine where you can only move where that machine is designed to go. I wouldn't avoid the squat if you've still got those past thoughts where people thought the barbell squat is going to be bad for your back or stuff like that. So are they good for cricket players? Personally, I would use some form of squat for 99% of players. Cricket players are tight for time when it comes to the gym. So having an exercise that develops such a large group of muscles is a great option, especially if you're trying to use the time in the gym as efficiently as you can. As I said, it's not the only way you can develop your lower body strength, but I think the factor of the carryover you're going to get from the back squat to the cricket field is one that's hard to ignore. If you're looking for some more training tips when it comes to your cricket, I've got a free ebook which I'm going to link in the description. All you have to do is pop in your email and we'll send it straight over to you. And if you're thinking about more exercise that you may want to do or may not want to do, then go and check out this video.